I first encountered the concept of side channel attacks while taking a cryptography course during my undergrad. The idea that attackers could gather sensitive information through physical effects rather than breaking encryption algorithms was both fascinating and alarming. This discovery motivated me to delve deeper into the understanding and mitigating these vulnerabilities, which is the basis of my talk today. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kay. I'm a grad and junior software engineer at Standard Bank Shift. Today, I'll be going over what crypto systems are and covering some of the common types of side channel attacks and ways to minimize them. Crypto systems are elaborate schemes involving a series of algorithms designed to convert plain text into ciphertext, providing secure communication by encoding and decoding messages. These systems are the bedrock of digital security, ensuring the integrity of data. Crypto systems can be embedded in software applications, operating systems, hardware devices, or network infrastructure. A common type of crypto, crypto system is a symmetric key crypto system. These rely on a single secret key used for both encryption and decryption. The strength of these systems relies on, their, relies on the mathematical techniques to achieve security goals. Asymmetric key crypto systems, on the other hand, use a shared public key for encryption and a different private key for decryption. We also have other types of crypto systems, such as a hybrid crypto system, which leverages both symmetric and asymmetric methods. The main point in our context is that when these crypto systems operate, they cause physical effects, and the information from these effects can provide clues about the system, aka side channel information. Imagine a very clever thief targets the world's most valuable diamond stored in a heavily secured safe. The thief identifies a critical five minute gap during a guard shift change as their only chance to, to access the safe. Although the safe has, has 10,000 possible combinations, making brute force impractical in such a limited time, the thief uses their expertise in lock manipulation. They detect small imperfections in the lock to figure out the correct combination within minutes. This example shows that even the most secure systems can be compromised if attackers can exploit tiny physical details. Similarly, crypto systems that aren't meticulously impl implemented can inadvertently leak information through minute imperfections. Attackers exploit physical cl clues from a system to bypass strong encryption and break into secure data. Some types of physical information that can be leaked by a crypt crypto system is timing information. The variations in time taken for cryptographic crypto Cryptographic operations based on input or operations can help infer secret keys or sensitive data. By sending tailored inputs and recording processing times, attackers can deduce the cryptographic key or other sensitive information through pattern analysis. An example of this is the RSA algorithm, where differences in execution time during key multiplication can allow attackers to infer bits of the private key. Monitoring the power usage patterns of a device during cryptographic processes can reveal cryptographic keys or process data. Attackers can use statistical analysis of correlate variations in power consumption with specific data values or key bits, making it possible to reconstruct cryptographic secrets from observed power traces. Electromagnetic devices emit electromagnetic radiation during operations. The strength and frequency of the emitted electromagnetic radiation can vary depending on cryptographic processes being executed. Capturing and analyzing these emissions can lead to retrieving sensitive cryptographic information. Sounds from devices like those from keyboards or internal components can be analyzed to infer operations or reconstruct input data. Uh, okay, so these are some famous side channel attacks. Um, so the first one is called Meltdown Inspector, which was discovered in 2018. Um, these targeted weaknesses in modern pro microprocessors. Um, they exploit features such as specu speculative execution and out of order execution. Um, these features aim to improve processor speed by making guesses about upcoming tasks. However, by carefully monitoring timing variations and cache behavior, attackers can use these features to access and privilege memory areas that should be off limits, potentially exposing sensitive data. Um, another well-known attack uh, is the, known as the Tempest attack. Um, this method spies on electromagnetic singles, signals that come off a computer screen, so they grab the information displayed before it gets encrypted. This kind of attack exploits the electromagnetic leakage from devices to sneak a peek at sensitive data. Um, there are ways to mitigate some of these side channel attacks. One of them is using constant time algorithms that execute in a predictable amount of time regardless of the input values. We can also randomize operations uh, to obscure power consumption patterns. Um, using signal scrambling or masking techniques to reduce the likelihood of sensitive data being extracted from emissions. 
We can also inject noise or random signals to mask acoustic emissions from cryptographic operations. Lastly, we could regularly flush caches to remove sensitive data that can reduce the risk of information leakage. Perfect security is unattainable. There's always a method to bypass any system, whether a physical safe or a data, encrypt data encrypting crypto system. The goal of security is not to create an impen impenetrable barrier, but to make an attack too costly or time consuming to be worthwhile. Side channel attackers uh, enable uh, side channel attacks enable attackers to invade strong cryptographic defenses without needing to break the algorithms directly. These attacks often go undetected, leaving no digital footprint. As we continue to advance in the digital digital age, it is crucial to remember that security of our system hinges not only on robust algorithms, but also on our ability to anticipate and defend and defend against less conventional attack vectors. Side channel attacks serve as a reminder that security is a multifaceted challenge that requires a holistic approach. I encourage each of you to think critically about the systems you design, develop, and implement, always considering the potential for unexpected vulnerabilities. Together, we can strive to create a more secure digital world by staying informed, vigilant, and proactive. Thank you.